Good evening, guys. Welcome back to Las Vegas. The Cube is here live at AWS reInvent 2021. I am Lisa Martin. We have two live sets, two remote sets, over 100 guests on the Cube, talking with AWS and its massive ecosystem of partners, bringing you this hybrid tech event, probably the biggest of the year. And I'm pleased to welcome Stephen Kovac. Next, the Chief Compliance Officer at Zscaler. Stephen, how's it going? Well, it's going well, Lisa. Thank you for asking. Enjoying Vegas. Uh, Love of the conference. Unbelievable. Isn't it great to be back in person? Oh, it's so great. I, I've seen people. Conversations you can't replicate on uh, video conferencing. You just can't. Can't. And it's, you see people you haven't seen in you know two years, and it's like you just all of a sudden it's like your best best buddies again. It's it's just wonderful. It's so, so great to be back. It is. And AWS, in typical fashion, has done a great job of getting everybody in here safely. I'm not at all surprised. It's what I expected, but it it's been great. And I hope that this can demonstrate to other companies, you can do this safely. You can, I think so. I, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of effort going on, and, but you know, as usual, AWS does it right, so you, know, you expect do. that. So. Talk to me about the, the Zscaler AWS partnership. What's going on? Wow, it's, it's a great partnership. Um, so AWS and Zscaler have been partners for, since the beginning of, of Zscaler. Um, you know, we, we are the largest security cloud in the world. Um, we're born and bred in the cloud security company, so literally we wrote one application that does global security, everything from firewall to proxy, to secure web gateway, to DLP, to all this in one, in one uh, piece of software. So in the past where people would buy appliances for all these devices and put them in their own data center, we, we wrote a software that allows us to put that in the cloud, run it on the cloud globally around the world. And, and our partnership with AWS is, we originally built that on AWS, and today still, AWS is our prime partner in our, in, and especially in the zero trust side of our business. So, um, great relationship, long term, and you know, great. I think for both of us, it's been a very, very um, fruitful, fr great, yeah, love synergistic. It. Thank you, synergistic. Love yeah, that. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. You mentioned zero trust, and that you know we have seen such massive changes to the security and the threat landscape yep. the last 20, 22 months. Talk to me about the, the recent executive order calling for zero trust. How does Zscaler's partnership with AWS help you enable organizations, Fed, SLED, DOD, to be able to, to actually bring in and apply zero trust? Yeah, great question. I mean, you know, we, so I was, uh, five years ago, I was tasked to, to bring Zscaler into the government side of the business. So I was employee one to do that. It was a great honor to do it. And the first thing we did is, you know, we partnered with AWS because we needed to get FedRAMP compliant. We, need, we knew we were going to go into DOD, so we needed to go to the impact level five, and eventually we'll be getting up level six with AWS. Um, and so it was our partnership started there. Um, and as you've seen in five years, with all the changes that's happened, obviously the break, the breaches like solar winds, and we, I mean, the people up here are talking about them all day, week with you, I'm sure. You know, the executive order came down from the Biden administration, who I completely salute for being just tremendous leaders in the cybersecurity space. And the executive order, you know, one of the big pieces of the executive order was every agency must produce a plan for zero trust. So our cloud platform that is on AWS is a zero trust platform. It is the first and only zero trust platform to get authorized by the federal government at the, at the FedRAMP level and now at the IO5 level. So uh, together we are literally capturing and taking over the, I should taking, being the leader in the, in the zero trust space for the federal government. And I'm going to get a sip of water, so forgive me. I've been Go ahead. here all week talking to a lot of people, so <laughs> forgive me for that. That's one, one thing that we don't have to deal with when we're on Zoom, right, is you, you right. don't really have the, the risk of losing your voice. There you go. But in terms of the executive order, that's, you yep. know, that's something that you mentioned, solar winds, colonial pipeline, we're, we only hear about some of the big ones. Yes. The fact that ransomware happens, one attack every 10, 11 seconds, yes. it's correct. a matter of when we get hit, not, yes, not right. if. <laughs> As you know, the story coming up for me, coming up on stage with you today, I just got myself reached just, just, just this morning. You did. Just individually, so yes, it's going to get all of us. I um, mean, especially, I think, when you look at zero trust and, and, rans and ransomware and you know, how they work, to, how zero trust can prevent it, um, you look at the sled markets, you know, state and local governments, they don't have the dollars to go spend like DHS does or, you know, say, you know, some of the uh, DOD does. So, you know, us part, our partnership with AWS allows, you know, us to produce a product that is very cost effective on a per user basis, you know, consumption model, which is what AWS has been famous for since day one, right? The consumption model. Use it when you need it, don't yep. use it when you don't. We built our software the same way. So, you know, we, at some points of the year, during the school year, we'll ramp up with some schools. 
up to you know 100,000 users in the district, and over the summer we'll ramp down to 1,000, and we build them for that. So it's 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 a beautiful relationship that we partner in in not just executive order, but being a partner in SLED, Fed, in the sense that matches making our business and, and together match the government's business, and that makes us a true leader and, and, and makes us a cost-effective solution. Um, and if you think about it, and just for a moment, I was just yesterday I told you I was testifying in front of the Senate, and one of the questions I got asked was, well, how many security updates do you guys see a year? I said, a year? Well, we do t over 200,000 a day. Wow. 200,000 security updates from potential hackers every single day. And we're doing that over 200, 200 billion transactions a day run one on AWS. So it's a tremendous partnership. Um, and, and be able to work like that and, and that, that kind of volume and be able to go up and down with the, and you guys, AWS is able to scope up and down and us to be able to ride that wave with them. It's been yeah, great. One of the things that we always talk about when we talk AWS is their customer focus, their yeah. customer obsession. That, hey, we, we start backwards. We work backwards from the customer. Same thing? Yeah. Synergistic from a cultural perspective? Absolutely. I mean, I, one thing I, I always love about AWS, and I've been a customer of AWS for many years, even prior to my z days, um, I love the way they approach things, right? They, they, if they're not trying to go out and sell it, they're trying to meet with the customer and find out what the customer needs, and then build a solution. We're the same way. I always tell you, know, when you think of our solution, z -Scaler, I always tell my, my sales teams that I said, it's, it takes four sales calls for people to really understand what we do. And AWS, in the beginning of AWS, it was kind of the same thing. In the old days, you know, we all just built data centers and we had all these racks and all this expense and that's just what you did. It was, it was unusual back in the day, you know, 10 years ago, and I mean, I've been to every single reInvent. I mean, the first ones, there, you're actually going to put all your stuff in this unknown cloud thing right. and it'll be available when you need it. So yes, you know, the, the way that they did it is the same way we do it together today. And, and we do it together today, we, we partner on many deals today where we're both our teams are in there together, selling together, whether it's the DOD, federal agencies, sled agencies, and commercial, you know, selling you know, hand in hand because it's that same philosophy as, we're going to build what a customer needs, not, we're not going to tell think. the customer what they need. Exactly. We're going to hear what they need. So, exactly. and that's the same relationship. So I'm going to get in our ship real quick. That's Go okay. for it. One of the things that, that has been a theme that we've heard the last couple of days is every company needs to be a data company or private sector, public sector, and if they're not, they're probably not going to be around much longer. Yeah. How do you help customers get their handle around that? Because the security threats are only increasing. We, I mean, it's the ransomware as a service, the fact that these criminals are getting much more brazen, you just yep. had this happen to yourself. <laughs> cool. but, from a, but enabling them to become data-driven organizations and use the data, extract the value from it securely, that's hard. It, it is, I mean, if you think back in the day, I mean, there was, I mean, Companies didn't have, you know, chief compliance officers that worked in the in the space that we do. Their chief compliance officer back in the day was the guy that was writing, you know, your your HR issues and you know what OSHA issues. And of course, I still deal with some of that stuff. But my true job is really around, you know, the data, right? What, you know, how do we build our platforms? What decisions we make on our platforms? How we're going to certify them to support that? And I mean, chief data officers, chief security officers. I mean, these are you, you go into companies today, even car dealerships today. I mean, I'm just I'm pick one agent. You never thought of them having a security officer, but they do. They have to. Have to. They have to. And I, I mean, to you space, basic school districts. I mean, I don't. You know, I mean, when I was a kid, went to school. I didn't have computers, but you know, when my kid went to school, they did. But they didn't have a security officer. Now today. Every single school district has security officers. I mean, it's, it's just, I love how you said it, that, that, that data-driven, that data thought is there. And it, it has to be, it's a real threat. I mean, and, and the sad thing is, it's of these ransomware attacks, how many don't get reported? Oh, I mean, right, I mean, you're you know, only the, hearing the about The numbers are something field. like 88% don't get reported. It's that big, so that just tells you how, you know, we hear the big ones, right? You know, Colonial Pipeline, things right. like that. Right. We don't hear about, you know, West Texas or, you know, Middle Illinois School District that paid, no. you know, five grand because somebody had something on the school, period. So that, that's what we really, you know, that's, a, that's how, as you said, this ransomware as a service security, well, we call it as security as a service. There's, you know, there's SaaS, which is software as a service. We're security software as a service. And AWS is the infrastructure as a service that we run on, and that's how it works well together. 
You guys go into accounts together from a go-to-market perspective, is it? We do, we, we, we can always do a better job, and I'll just uh -huh. pivot my good friend uh, here at, at AWS yeah. and try listening. We can always do better, um, but yes, it, it has become something that, especially in the state and in, in the government space, we do. Um, in federal, DOD, because the certifications are really important. Certifications are important everywhere, and we do, we have many, we talked about all the, the certifications we have, federal, FedRAMP and, and uh, you know, IL-5, and um, we have, plethora of those certifications in, in the commercial space. What they mean in, in a federal space, they're, they're, they're really the ticket, uh, they call them the energy star of approval, good housekeeping piece. So, you know, having that, teaming up with AWS, it, you know, we partner together, and, we, and because AWS has the same certs, we can sell at the same levels, and we do a really great job of co-selling in that space together. And I think when they look at us and they say, well, you're AWS, you've got They've got their you know, FedRAMP high, IL-5, and your ZCO, you got your FedRAMP high, IL-5. Yes, we can do business with these guys, and that's important. So you guys both open doors for each other? We do, we do, in many cases, yeah. As a matter of fact, I think I've, I uh, reinvented five years ago with a, a buddy of mine here, opened a big, big account for us, which is today our largest account in federal, came from uh, reInvent, uh, where hey. he came up to me and said, hey, my customer wants to, he's looking to do something, they're, they're an agency that's global footprint, and they're like, we want to do something as a security as a service. They don't want to ship boxes all over the place. And you know, we became, we just met the customer for, you know, for a coffee, and. Next thing you know, became our, still today, our prior largest customer in federal. So. Wow, well this is the 10th reInvent. You said you've been to all of them. I have been to all of them. One of the things I can't lie, but I can't say I did all the virtual ones. I mean, I, I was logged That's in. That's okay, we'll <laughs> wake on that one. Uh, but one of the things, and we've just got about a, a minute left here, sure. is in you know, new leadership, Andrew Jassy going, yes. being promoted to the CEO of Amazon. We've got Adam Solisky. Heard a lot of announcements and news from Adam yep. yesterday, but yep. some of the things that we've been talking about on theCUBE is the first 15 years of innovation at AWS, that's going to accelerate. Do you see that also, like if you look forward the next decade, do you see things moving even much faster than they did the past decade? I, I don't think they can't. I mean, I, I should say they have to. Um, I, and change, the, the change of the guard, as you might call it here, is, is it, it's always good to have a change of the guard. I think, you know, the question is, you know, when, when's Andy going to go to space? I mean, that's a that's <laughs> world that, you know, see, but um, I think, it, it, you, you, you had the, guy, the guys that took, got him, got AWS to the dance, and now the, you know, the dance has got to become, the who's going to become the bell of the ball, and, and this next generation of leadership coming in is fabulous. I think they, they've made great decisions, um, and I think they're going to do really well, and we're, we're behind them, we support it. I have a chance to meet with most of them. Look, chance to meet with Andy, I haven't met with him yet, so Andy, love to meet you sometime soon, but uh, I'm very impressed with what they've done, and yes, I think, it's going to be, the last 10 years, the last 10 years of growth is going to be a year next year. Yeah. I think it literally, you take 10 years, we compress to a year. And then next year, it'll be compressed to a day. So it's just going to, it's moved that fast. Yep, get your neck brace on, prepare for that yeah, weight right. right? Yeah, that's why I said, Jeff went to space, it's how fast we're about to travel. Right. Right, it's, a, it's really relative. It is, there, it. there is no limit. Well, Stephen, thank you for joining me talking about Zscaler, AWS, what you guys are doing, how you're helping to revolutionize public sector, Fed, SLED, a lot of great stuff there. Security is an ever evolving topic and we appreciate all of your insights. Uh, well, it was wonderful to be here. Great to see you again and glad to be back, when, uh, back with all of our friends at uh, reInvent. All of our friends, exactly. So, thank you for so much for the time today. My pleasure. For Stephen Kovac, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE, the global leader in live tech coverage.